He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Hello and welcome to today's Monday update. Uh, it's been a busy stretch of time here at St. Luke uh, between Holy Week with Maundy Thursday, a Good Friday worship services, Alleluia Adventure. We had about 100 children that came here to participate in that. And then, of course, Easter Sunday and Easter breakfast. Wow. Uh, thanks to everybody who helped make that all happen. Uh, I realize it takes a lot of help, a lot of work, many hands making light work. Um, your help contributing to the uh, ministry of the church and the proclamation of the gospel. So thanks to everybody who was part of that uh, and who helped make it all happen. Uh, we heard yesterday in our gospel reading from Matthew 28, the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. What a joy that is. Uh, the joy of Easter, the joy of the resurrection of Jesus is that God took a mess and revealed something beautiful and good through it. God took separation, the separation of the cross, and he joined it all back together through the empty tomb. Uh, through the cross and through the empty tomb of Jesus, God has woven all things back together. You are woven into that tapestry of hope through the resurrection. Well, as we look to the weeks ahead, as we continue uh, the Easter celebration, looking at the weeks ahead, uh, we're going to be nearing the culmination of Together for Tomorrow, our capital campaign effort. Uh, there'll be more communication, more information on this. Uh, we're bringing back our Kingdom Conversations as you might recall, those are um, midweek videos that we would share with the congregation. We're going to have an installment of Kingdom Conversations going deeper uh, into the topics of Together for Tomorrow. Uh, we also are going to have some great uh, informational videos uh, about Together for Tomorrow, uh, information about what the project is all about and how you can participate in that. Then also there's going to be um, information. Uh, you're going to be receiving a letter in the mail along with a commitment card uh, for Together for Tomorrow. Uh, there'll be instructions for uh, what you can do with that, uh, how you can uh, fill that commitment card out, uh, and then how and when uh, you can return that. Now finally, uh, I want you to mark your calendars for something really exciting. We have a Celebration Sunday event, a Celebration Sunday, the culmination and celebration uh, collectively of Together for Tomorrow. That's on May 7th at 10 a.m., we're going to have a unified worship service at the Meridian Campus. Uh, president David Davis, uh, president of the Michigan District of the LCMS, uh, and our friend and former pastor, uh, he's going to be preaching that day. Uh, we'll have um, some hors d'oeuvres and a celebration afterwards, and uh, also the, the culmination and celebration of, of how we did collectively uh, through our efforts uh, for Together for Tomorrow. So mark your calendars, May 7th. 10 a.m. for that Celebration Sunday event. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch this Monday update. Uh, God's blessings to you this week as you live as one who knows the peace and the power of the cross and the joy of the empty tomb.